So the first test we're going to show you how to do is the ratio test on a power transformer. So for that matter, we go to power transformers, we press the button, and then we go to header and nominal values. You will get this screen when you enter for the first time. So right now I could write the name of a substation and the bay. I'm going to skip through that simply not to take too much of your time, but I'm going to focus on nominals because that's important. You have to fill in at least these values when you are doing your test. So in my case, I have a three-phase transformer, not a single phase. Three-phase transformer, which has two, not three, not auto, or not auto with tertiary, but two windings. The power of my transformer is 100K or 100,000 volts, uh, 100,000 volt amps. The primary side on this transformer is 20K, 20 20,000 volts. D is the vector group from the primary side. The secondary side is 400, and the vector group for the secondary side is Y and 11. So these are my settings. And in order to do a proper ratio test, this needs to be correct. Otherwise, the results will be all over the place. Another thing you have to ask yourself is, do you have an online tap changer, on load tap changer, or do you have a de-energized tap changer? In our case, we have a de-energized tap changer. The difference being online tap changer is more used on uh, transmission transformers, which have many positions of tap changer. 17, 25, 18, 19, de-energized tap changers has between three and five or six positions. So in our case, we have a de-energized tap changer. And we said that this one is present. It is on the high voltage side. And here, we already written what are the steps. So the position zero is 20K, as we said. We have also positions one and two up to 21K and positions from minus one to minus three. So effectively, on the secondary side, you can get from 18.5 to 21 kilovolts on the secondary side of this transformer. If you wanted to add tap, you would press add tap and you would write what is that value. So now, since all this is done, we can also show you one more thing, which is tolerances. So here we're going to change this ratio to 0.5% because this is more or less a magical number in standards for the ratio test. If the difference is more than 0.5%, then it's a bad result. I mean, that transformer needs, needs to be looked at. I press the programmable button test and then I move on to ratio. So this is the ratio test. I open it from here. I can also add it in the test plan. But what do I do now? I first have to say in which position is the tap changer. It's actually in position zero. And you can see 20 kilovolts to 400 volts. If I put it in position minus three, it will be 18.5 to 400. In the same way, the ratio changes. Now it's 80, and in position zero, it is 86.6. So this is the result we're looking for. Vector group DYN11, which was transcribed, copied from the nominal values. And we also need to say, usually I don't touch this, but what would you use, which output? So I will use the AC 500 volt, which is the 2 kV output, and I will effectively generate 200 volts on the primary side with 50 hertz. So this is the signal I will be using. I can change this, you can put 100 volts here, but usually I don't touch it because it's not necessary. If you were to have a switch box, STCS, you would say present, and in that case, you, it would be a different story. We, were, we are also going to make a video on that topic, but later. And for the end, if you're not sure what to choose, just press the question mark button, and you will see how you need to connect. So the 2 kV output is connected on the high voltage side. The measurement from the low voltage side is connected to the 300 volt input. And here you have connections for phases A, B, and then you press scroll column. You hold it pressed and you scroll slightly below and to see it for phase C. And that's what we're going to connect right now.